Hey guys, thanks for coming to my channel. Calatron here. Today we're going to go over the difference between the G2 and the G3 Trek Marlins. The examples I have today are the Marlin 8. I got a G2 Marlin 8 and a G3 Marlin 8. The Marlin 8 is the highest spec of the Marlins, so this will show you all the features that the Marlin has to offer. Remember, like, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let's get into this review. Okay guys, we'll get started with this review. I've got the bike set up side by side so it's easy to go through the features and do a run, quick rundown of both models. One thing we'll take note of is between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3 Marlin 8s, the spec is pretty much identical. They both have SRAM SX 12 speed shifters and derailers on the bike. They both have Shimano MT200 brakes. They also both have RockShox GD forks. So again, the differences between these bikes is gonna be the new features between the Gen 3 and the Gen 2 Marlins. Now, we'll start off with the first thing. The first and easiest thing to notice between the two is the dropper post. The Gen 2 Marlin did not have a dropper post. The Gen 3 Marlin has a dropper post and it is easily routed internally inside the frame. With the Gen 2 Marlin, you had to run an external cable for those. Next we'll go to the quick release. The Gen 2 Marlin had a standard quick release. The Gen 3 Marlin has a skewer capture system. It's still a 9mm, but it is a bolt that threads all the way through the frame and is captured on the drive side. Other thing you'll notice between the two spec on the bikes is your stems. The stems are shorter on the Gen 3 compared to the Gen 2. Now the two models I have, I've got a medium large and a medium and as you can see the medium stem is longer than the stem on the medium large. So with the new Marlins you're getting a longer top tube, more reach. Another thing to notice is on the new Gen 3 Marlin, the head tubes got a little taller, so you're sitting in a more upright position. And one of the last features is the new Marlin is able to accommodate larger tires. The new Marlins come in spec with Ardent 2.4s. Front and rear. The older Marlin, the Gen 2 Marlin, came with the 2.35 front and a 2.2 rear. The rear end of the Gen 3 Marlin widened up to accommodate the larger tires. Thanks for watching my video. I hope this helped you understand the difference between the Gen 3 and the Gen 2 Marlin. Both bikes are extraordinary bikes. They're great intro bikes for someone just getting into mountain biking. The new Marlin has lots of features and the new Marlin helps you upgrade to whatever you want to do to your bike. It makes it a more customizable bike for you for the new Gen 3 model. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to like, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching Calatron's Corner.